This is McCooks, Mr. Bill. It is an honor to have you here. I'd like to talk about flashlights today. And most of the flashlights I have are very, very small. Very small. This is a AAA, single AAA flashlight. And what's nice about it, it'll, of course, you can just clip it on your shirt pocket, on your belt, jeans, what have you. The lightweight, what's nice is It'll keep you from tripping over a stick, falling in a hole, or stepping on a snake. Absolutely. Worth its weight in gold to own such a critter if you keep the batteries up. I always carry an extra battery in my day pack too as well. One of my fishing buddies is this. It's simply a head uh, lamp. Keeps your hands, both hands free. And it's got the power of a wide view light, short range, and yet it will sure do the job and last a long time. Absolutely. Triple A battery run and worth its weight. Absolutely to me. I think it was about a $15 bill. But I'd like to speak of something bigger. I said bigger. And that's where this comes in. Kind of a box type flashlight with a good solid handle. Absolutely. And like the old 9 volt batteries. But this is rechargeable. I said rechargeable. And you can charge it from AC at your home or you can charge it in your car with DC. You bet. It'll go either way and give you a quick charge. And the power this thing has is nothing short of amazing. It is a beam light. It doesn't spread out. It's a beam. And that means that you can see a long ways out there. This is high beam. And we can go way on out into the cemetery out there. Uh, from my tests, about 200 yards is about where it ends up. Though it goes a bit further, but it's pretty grainy and light by, if you go beyond that. But that's a good solid light for the first 100 yards for sure. Then on out to 200, it's still good. And uh, it's well worth owning. It can spot something for you or allow you to be spotted if somebody's looking for you. If you had something like this absolutely with that button and if you need a little bit more you can hold that button in and it starts blinking you think that would draw attention to you or something or someone is attacking you do you think that would give them a tougher time getting in on you it's something to keep in mind and of course it's uh, not done by any means uh, if you turn this way it has a fluorescent light here uh, again Gives you a nice glow, absolutely, and a high beam or low beam. And if you hold it in, though, now it becomes a, a danger light, you know, a strobe light. That would give you perhaps a chance to survive or to tell everybody there's a problem maybe a car wreck or something has gone wrong and to take extreme caution you can never have too many caution lights in any incident in my humble opinion absolutely okay this is a nice flashlight it uh, comes it comes with a tripod that folds up and can be screwed into it of course uh, it can be adjusted any way you want. Absolutely. A nice little tripod. It has a shoulder harness. It's worth its weight. That keeps your hands free if you so desired. In my humble opinion, it's worth owning something that gives you some serious light power if you'd need it. Last 10 hours, as I've said, and on full beam and 14 hours on low beam. On a day after event, locally anyway, something like this might make the difference might even save your life along the highway some night and for a $30 bill. Thank you for your time.